Hey, I'm Juan. Thank you for joining me. Today, we're going to have an update on Sensionix. So in previous videos, we talked about the ever since now remote monitoring app for Android users is available over in Europe. And that's a positive sign that they launched this because it can be also used once it gets approved here in the United States. So the timing of that seems positive that they're going to get FDA approval. And this other article came out where people are buying calls in January, I guess, anticipating also the FDA approval since it's not happening this month. Most likely it'll happen that next month. We mentioned that there was a couple of other diabetic companies that FDA approval was pushed. So these are positive things. Another article just came out a couple days ago and they talk about Sensionix shares primed for 180 day approval. So they mentioned that momentum continues to increase due to more growth for the three sales guidance maintained for fiscal 2021. The market remains interested bullish patterns below still likely play itself out here they have a chart here and i have another chart here that just shows all the momentum is starting to reverse you see here it's spiked down 253 has been support for quite a while you look back here in june it bounced off of the 253 here it came low to 270 then here again it tested the 253 and right here it bounced perfectly off of 253 and started to reverse and if we look at the rsi it's on an uptrend if we look on the macd there's a crossover starting to uptrend on the stochastic it's also uptrending so all these indicators are showing that this stock is bullish and i'm i think everybody's anticipating the fda approval that's going to happen supposed to happen in january so this article just basically goes over from a technical aspect here the volume increasing you see the average volume balance so it's starting to go up the macd crossover and they talk about their growth here or their anticipated growth for the annual market so this is basically a, just a video on how i'm going to personally play this stock once they get fda approval for me i've been in it for a while i think once they get fda approval you can anticipate that there's going to be a spike there's going to be an initial spike and usually the same day that the news comes out there's always a spike and then it just retraces quite a bit so i want to sell on the upside probably most of half of, more than half of my position and then hold the rest and wait till some support so start showing maybe where I could pick up some more but I think like once the news is over there's not going to be a catalyst for a while their 365 glucose monitor is going to take a while you know each candidate when they check for those they have to be on the device for a year for them to get positive uh, results the only other catalysts that they're going to have are like positive earnings that's pretty much going to dictate how much I increase my position. If they start increasing, if their revenue starts increasing, if they start becoming more popular, if they can capture some of the glucose CGM market share, then that would definitely interest me in holding it for the long term. I want to sell most of my position with the spike of the news, wait till it retraces. And we also have to anticipate that there may be another announcement of interest increase because the inflation is so high, they have to increase the interest in order to overcome the inflation. So that's something that you have to anticipate. If they do announce that the interest is gonna increase, that's definitely gonna affect Sensionix and the price will probably drop. So if there's a combination of the stock price dropping due to interest increase, and they've also shown positive revenue increase and they're capturing more market share of the CGM device, then that is gonna be a definite positive sign for me to buy more shares as it drops and increase my position. But I do wanna sell half just so I can be in the green and even if it drops over time, I'm still in the green. So now I'm trading with basically all profits. So that's just my opinion. That was just a quick video on Sensionix on how I'm gonna approach FDA approval. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.